Guys, we've been looking at this truck all weekend. We're down at the uh, Super Rig show, and I finally, finally, finally got a chance to grab Tony and drag him away from all his fans and uh, uh, admirers. Tony, how you doing, man? We're doing good. We're just happy to be here. Tony, I want to say thank you for uh, giving me a chance to spotlight you and this beautiful KW you got behind you. Man, you know I've been bugging you for a while now to try to catch up with you, and I finally got you, so let's talk about that beautiful KW behind you. Sure. What year is that? This is a 2020 Kenworth W900L flat glass. Now, guys, I guess you're wondering if this is a 2020, what's, what's going on with that sleeper, right? Well, let's find out. Tony, tell me a little bit about that. So the bunk's originally a 94. Uh, we built the truck around the sleeper. It had the original interior in it, the original ox blood, and mm -hmm. we just wanted to encapsulate that type of the theme or that type of the year bring it all together kind of mid 90s but yet still have some of the newer stuff on with it make it more i guess new but old you know what i mean yes and you did that exactly guys and of course you know these we did a walk around and we looked on the inside of it earlier and as you can see it is immaculate tony did an exquisite job on this Tony, tell me what's the wheelbase on this this is a 291 wheelbase 291 and i see you got those beautiful fenders on there where, where'd you get those straight from hogue built i couldn't they're they're phenomenal they fit right they fit tight and there's uh, second to none we run hogue built on everything we got and you've got a custom deck plate and uh stainless fifth wheel and the whole works going on there what was the whole theme outside of the fact you wanted to keep it old school new school what made you want to jump into it like this it was kind of thrown in my lap to be honest with you oh really um, yeah it's it just really was. We, Kyle Cousins, my boss, he had a build sheet. We had no intentions of being an owner operator again whenever I came to work for Kyle. And then he threw down the sheet. He's like, take a look at this. <laughs> I said, man, this would be cool, but it's the same colors as our old truck. Mm -hmm. And then he took us out into the barn one day and he said, what do you think of that sleeper? And that's whenever my eyes just got big, <laughs> big, big. And, and we, we ran with it. And when you say you worked with Kyle, What's the company you work for? Fleener Brothers out of Carthage, Missouri. And guys, you know we've seen a lot of those um, trucks on the road. As a matter of fact, my nephew Tony Barnes, Barnes actually works for you as well. Yes, sir. Now, Tony, tell me this. Out of all, how, how was the show to you? For the first time being here and everything that they dealt with, I was way impressed. I thought it was put together well. I really like the two-hour window that they give you for the judging. Mm -hmm. And that, just to the fact that you know you've got that deadline, so whenever you go up there, it's on you if you're not ready. I, I really like that idea. So how did you do, tell, let the audience know how you did at the show. We did fifth place, Bobtails, working class, very happy. And then we also landed the calendar spot, which was very big. That's, that's what we really was hoping for. Awesome. So Tony, what else have you got to do to it, man? I, 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 the truck looks absolutely complete to me, but I know it's probably not. What else would you do to it? Really, man, you nailed it. We, I got one. I wanted to do everything to one that we wanted to do to one, and we have a, the complete package, you know, from the Dynaflex pipes to the kit, the steps, all the way around. I just, I can't, I couldn't be happier. You know, where we finally feel like we're at the pinnacle that we wanted to be at. It sort of touch up paint here and there and little things like that. We're, we're content, man. So how did it feel being in the spotlight and having the fans and uh, the admirers coming up to you? It's different every show you go to. You meet so many people out here and you remember a lot of faces, but whenever they keep coming back with the same nice response, same everything, good to see it. That's the reason we do it, man. We do it just for the people and to be able to meet them, make friends everywhere all over the road, because you never know what it's gonna throw at you. Yes. You make the little connections, the little connections turn into a bigger connection, and it's it's a great thing to have. It's, it's better for the industry that way. So well, Tony, tell me, how many miles do you put on your truck a year? We run about 115 a year, fall apart, and we run all 48 states. We run Canada, we run, I, this truck just came back from Anchorage. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, we, first tell us, time. Tell us about that, Anchorage. What, 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 how'd you end up in Anchorage? It was short straw. I was the only guy in the neighborhood that had a passport that day, and we I've always wanted to go. Mm -hmm. I didn't necessarily want to go with this truck, but I've always wanted <laughs> to go, and we took it and ran with it, and it's some of the most beautiful country I've ever been to by far. The roads, yes. on the other hand, the miles of the rock and the broken road and everything else was, it was a little overwhelming at times. Oh, but okay. So did it, did it take its toll on the truck? Did I, you have to make some repairs on it? Yeah. Uh, Evans Polish Shop, they 
they came through so great. My fenders were beat, I mean, just trashed, and they sanded and polished and sanded and polished and went back over everything, and then we got out 9,000 microfibers and went to town. And guys, like I said, we're gonna take a walk around and I'm gonna let you look at all the things that Tony has on this truck, and it is so, so beautiful. Tony, I want to say thank you for giving us that opportunity. Is there anyone you would like to say or give any special shout outs to? Man, the guys at Dynaflex, Hokeville, Four State Trucks, Fleener Brothers, of course, you know, to give us the opportunity to, to work the truck and be able to go to the places that we go to, but still be able to make these shows. It's, it's huge. Just, I can't really thank anybody else off the top of my head. MHC Kenworth, for sure. Those guys, Emily. She's the cleaning lady. My son, he helps out a lot too. Every time we, I get home, he's always tinkering and helping. And you know, it's it's just it never ends. Trucks never end if you want to show and keep going and do the deal. It, it doesn't stop. So, Tony, how many shows have you actually showed this truck? Probably four, four or five. I mean, this is our first nationwide big big you know we showed it at Rantoul two years ago and did very well okay uh, we showed it at T.W. McDermott show down in Sykeston and did very well but as far as like your your big big gatherings this is really the biggest one that we've been to outstanding and guys on that note I'm gonna let Tony go this is at the end of the Shell Super Rigs event and we have had an absolute exhausting and beautiful time Tony, thank you so, so very much for you and your beautiful fiance for uh, being with us today and, and giving us the opportunity to spotlight you. Guys, this is Quinn, Elegance on 18 Wheels, spotlighting Tony Huttenstein and this beautiful KW. Tony, thank you so very much, sir. Thank you for the opportunity. Appreciate it.